Well done. We're out of the woods, for a little while anyway. Now, what brings you to this charming place? Sabatini? Yes, he lives here, or rather lived here. He ran out of town about a week ago like his tail was on fire. I have no idea where Sabatini went, but I'll find out. You go help out Lieutenant Masterson, and I'll tell you when you get back. Report! These accursed ghost ships! First an army of the dead attacks us and nearly takes the town. Now we have a jailbreak. The prisoners are gone, all of them. In all the chaos in the last raid, they busted their way out of the stockade. There are dangerous men on the loose. I'm deputizing you here and now to set this right. Go ask the civilians and the troops if they saw anyone suspicious. attack we were pinned down inside the general store and I saw someone slinking around outside Weasley looking fella he was running for the west gate and I saw him scramble across the stone arch toward the old gorge in the abandoned mine shaft I called out to him but he kept right on going thought I was crazy who would run out into those horrible ghost ships Seen anyone suspicious? You mean other than the cantankerous cadavers? Turns out I have. I was racing to the fort when he came at me. He was huge. Biggest bison I've ever seen. His fur was as black as midnight. He laid me low with one punch, then jumped in my boat and lit out like lightning. So, are you gonna get my boat back? Report! Good work. It's a start, at least. When we find them, I hope there's a stockade left to put them in. The Weasley man you caught word of? His name is Weasley Jenkins. Thief, gambler, and notorious cheat. Your tip or fruit. My scouts tell me someone's hiding in the old mine shaft near town. I can't spare the men to round him up. It falls to you. I'll come quietly. Jail looks a lot better than the horrible things I've seen wandering around here at night. I'll send Weasley Jenkins to the captain so he can be dealt with. This puts us one step closer to recovery. The other prisoner you heard rumor of, there's no mistaking him. Crazy Horn, a black storm bison. So savage, his own murderous tribe threw him out. He's wanted for everything they have a law for. There's only one place he wants to go. Big Sky Country. You've got to head him off at the pass. There's a vortex near the gateway to Tumbleweed. My wager is that he's hiding in there waiting to make a break for it. If you hurry, you'll get him.
stayed in the Clawhood Fort. Stole ships, burned farms, and rustled buffalo. Until today, I never surrendered. Take me back to the fort. I am done. Looks like Crazy Horn won't be returning to his village after all. I'm impressed by your vigor, sailor, and your spirit. Well done. I've learned how the prisoners managed to escape. The men you helped catch revealed who was behind this plot. Captain Foote was a model officer until the war ended. Something in him couldn't handle losing, and he went bad. Now he's worse than a criminal. If I were Foote, I'd hide in the old Hangem jail in the dusty vortex. I bet he's there. Go find him and stop him.
where you are. You think you can... Wait. I know you. You're the little pirate who landed me in jail. What must I do to rid myself of you? Masterson sent you? That coward. He never fought his own battles, and he's insulted me by sending such a puny little runt. Defend yourself! of some vile marauders, I'll be expecting you to fight your way in. This war goes on and on, and the price gets even higher. I am adrift in the sky and want this to end. This was my final battle. More for the stockade, eh? Good. Colonel Church sent you, am I right? Go tell him your work here is done, and done well. 
You've taken a load off of my shoulders, young pirate. I will rest easy. Until the ghost ships return, that is. You helped Masterson sort things out? Outstanding. While you were away, I learned a thing or two about Sabatini. As soon as the ghost ships appeared, he ran all over town yammering something about the end of the world and holy ground. Then he was gone. There's an old abandoned church a ways from here. Rumor is that's where Sabatini is holed up. That's where I'd look for him. You verminous traitor! You thought you could spark a mutiny against me and live? We made a pact, Sabatini. You owe me a debt, and death too. No! You there! Pirate! You can stop this monster! The cards! Look to the cards! Silence, you wretch! The cards! Go to the sisters on the Isla de los Muertos! The cards! Enough! Ah! So, little one, you dare call yourself a pirate. Take him, lads! he was talking about.
I have been expecting you. You come seeking answers. The cards will give them to me, and I shall interpret their message. Ask your question, and the reading can begin. Here's our question. Where can we find Captain Blood's key? The first card represents the past, source of the present, and key to the future. Here is judgment, the card of laws, rules, and pacts. The card is reversed. Deception, betrayal, mutiny. These are the sources of all the obstacles that face you now. You must set things right. The second card is the present, the challenge confronting you. Here is the drowned mariner, Captain Blood, the pilot who lives beyond death. Here is the answer to the question. Captain Blood has taken the key you seek. How can you take it from him? The cards shall tell us. The last card is the future, which reveals the solution to the present challenge. Here is a dark card. The Wraith, who is Death. Death was the Dark Master Captain Blood cheated. Death is the source of the pirate's power. Death himself will show you the way. Death, Imbiard want to treat with. How do we call him? To rave and be death servant. Them birds know. Feed them corn. They will say, Corn? Not to be easy enough to find. Let's go to Santo Poyo and look in the marketplace. You may delay all you like, but you cannot escape your fate. Death lies before you and is the key to your future. Find him. I have corn. Wait. I know you. You helped El Toro defeat El Guapo. Take as much as you like. Corn, Captain. Feed the birds. What's that mean? We need to ask the fortune teller. Black bird, of course. To call death, you must offer something he wants. There is a vile killer who has offended death. Black Bart is his name. He led a group of pilgrims from Santo Pollo to the haunted skyway, but betrayed them and scattered their spirits to the winds. Gather the lost spirits in haunted skyway and take them to the graveyard of the old church. Death will find you.
Beware, O oh my captain. The wind whispers, and the shadows rise. Death be near. You're there. Them spirits is mine. I took them fair and square. Now you gave them back, and I'm gonna take them. Okay. Black Bart, we have unfinished business. Oh no! No! There, that's done. Now to other business. I really do hate having to appear like this in such a tiresome manifestation. Still rather expected of one, I suppose. I know what you want and why. You need to defeat Captain Blood, who cannot be harmed. It's all very bothersome. You need the cards. I shall explain. I don't know why Captain Blood wants to live forever. His life was never that great in the first place. All that violence and pillaging hardly seems worth the trouble. But he was, is, rather obsessed with immortality. And so, on his deathbed, he challenged me to a friendly game of cards. Yes, I know, I have a gambling problem. I'm getting help, all right? Look, I don't have to answer to you. It really is none of your business. Anyway, there we were, playing cards. In the final hand, Blood raised the stakes and bet me his immortal soul. I had him. 
that's when he cheated. I played my cards, but blood went to the bathroom and never came back. And he took his cards with him. So here we are, stuck in limbo. I can't collect blood soul because I haven't won the game. But I can't win the game because the game can't end. Blood's hand remains unplayed. He hasn't lost yet, you see. Very clever. It was a dreadful loophole, and of course I've had the rules changed, but I'm afraid it doesn't apply retroactively. Captain Blood is stuck between life and death, and I can't touch him. He cannot be killed, or even harmed, really, until our game is over. Captain Blood's cards must be played by his own hand on the table where my cards are still waiting. I know it's all dreadfully improbable. Yes, yes, I know he's made me look quite the fool. Look, I didn't ask you to do this. You called me. If you want to find your precious map, you need the key to Captain Blood's treasure. The only way to get that key is to pry it from his dead fingers. So good luck with that. Call me when you've convinced Blood to put his cards on the table. I'm sure you'll think of something. And how do we find these cards? Who knows where they might be? A member of Blood's crew would know. Sly Winkum was in Blood's crew. Let's see what he can tell us.